Hello. Is anybody there? What kind of a what kind of a system is this? Are you people not very well able to perform a, a, a phone call? The message in anything is best determined by how it makes you feel. Like, I can sit here and say a bunch of words, or, you know, anyone can speak, speak words. Some of you receive a portion of the message by the words that are being said from the meaning of those words. You receive something from those words as they are spoken and extract info, information from you know, how those words are defined and what they mean and what they mean as they are said in a sentence. And some of you tap into your feelings and receive a much larger portion of the message the complete message, perhaps, by how it makes you feel. And you're determining the true meaning from there. You're going deeper into your consciousness where change takes place within yourself. You receive the full message in your core. Where you can determine what is true, how to change, what ways that you are blocking your union. And then some of you get very, very triggered and write obnoxious comments or name call. You know, you, those people don't go within to understand why this is, you know, what's being said or a video or, or anything is making them feel the way that they are feeling. Why is this situation making me feel this particular emotion? Like you're getting triggered by my videos, why? I'm not asking, that's what you should be asking yourself. You're getting triggered by your twin why? You're getting triggered by something that is, is occurring in your life? Why? Why do you feel that way? What emotion is coming up? Not why do you think? Why, why do you feel the way that you do? Why is this making you feel a certain way? That's what you want to look at. Your feelings. In that way, you can release those negative feelings. You can use the mirror exercise to release those feelings. That's why they're coming up for you to release them. So how does anything you come across make you feel? You know, looking at your mind, looking at things with your mind is very limiting. You have many, in many cases, a distorted viewpoint that will only relay to you what it wants to. It will only relay information that is in congruence with the blocks and upsets that you have. That's why it's in many cases so hard to see the truth or it may or it may appear to be so hard to see the truth like this this thing it will perceive something accurately your mind will record everything in, a, in any particular situation accurately 100 percent but that but the information that gets passed along to your logic is based on you know the blocks and upsets that you are 
basically shrouding from you seeing what's what's really going on. So as an example, like you already are in harmonious union with your twin flame at your core. But your blocks and upsets prevent you from realizing that to be true. You see separation. You see, I'm here, they're there, separation. We're not, we're never together. We're never going to be together. That's what you see. But you are experiencing that illusion because there are things in the way that need to be cleared in order for you to experience the truth. That is where the inner work comes in. Introspection, looking within, being honest with yourself. What's really going on? Why don't I have this thing that I want? There's a reason. What's in the way? So looking at things from your heart by how they make you feel is looking at something with an unlimited amount of viewing power. You have access to unlimited source energy from that place. You have access to a much deeper and richer truth from that place. That is where you create your reality from. You have to be willing to explore your feelings. They are your ticket to harmonious union and beyond. So let's work together so that you can turn this thing around, really transform and change your situation to get into harmonious union with your twin. Go down below, click on the link to, to my website and explore all I have to offer in, in helping you achieve your goal. Have harmonious union. And I'll see y'all next time.